The illegal migration crisis in the UK is escalating badly as over the last couple of days we've had a huge number of migrants illegally entering the country, getting lost in the system, go around our towns and cities and break into people's homes. Where is the border force? Where is the police? And where is the home office in general? And um, we were complaining before about over the last two, three years, the border force, RNLI, uh, acting as taxis, bringing in migrants. There was at least one positive point about that because the whole point of that was for them to, because they were like, well, we can't stop them. I don't know why. Uh, that's a whole different argument. Um, so what we're going to do is at least we're going to pick them up so we can actually send them to the detention centers and you know find out exactly how we can actually monitor them. But then they ended up giving them Domino's pizzas and everything else. But that's a whole different topic. Now we have a new problem. People are now coming so regularly, different parts of the coast, and in, especially in Kent and Dover, that no one's there to monitor 24-7. Some of them are now just lost in the system. Uh, Active Patriot tweeted this video that Chris Johnson, actually, the migrant spotter, uh, uh, posted on social media about some migrants who... Uh, came illegally into the country and just escaped undetected into our nation. That is an absolute mess. So you have the, the, the police last minute coming late and thinking, well, let's just stand around and look, look for them because that's going to be fine. We then found out what happened. Hours later, uh, some of them just went around. Uh, they got into the Midlands. Some of them went, wanted to go to Birmingham, Manchester. And uh, then we got the report that some decided to break into people's homes in Kent to, to get... Well, to get help, I guess. But well, some of them actually wanted to basically find a way to get to the Midlands or North of England. And this is getting a, becoming more problematic because they are crossing the boundaries. They are now, essentially, this is intimidating for a local, normal people who just live in their lives. And then you have a situation where this is one of the residents near, near a village in Dover uh, who posted on a community forum page that a young migrant broke into their home and was demanding to use the phone. The migrants said that, uh, to, well, they wanted transport to Manchester or London. I mean, there are two very different cities. I'm not really sure why, but okay. They clearly didn't have a proper plan. The post said, a young lad off a boat has made his way into a resident's home this morning and demanded her phones and wanted transport to Manchester or London. And he has been detained by the police. So that's, at least this person was detained, which is, thank God. But this is not normal. Yeah, when talk, people talk about invasion, this is literally an invasion. You're invading someone's home. You're invading, well, you first you invaded someone's land and border, and now you're actually going into people's homes. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And police, right now, Rishi Sunak has got a new cabinet, new government. They're too busy with their ties and robotic waves and nonsense stuff. And in Westminster, right now, have an emergency meeting about what's going on in the Home Office. Our borders have been breached. You don't care because the media, BBC and Sky and, and all these others, they're not talking about it. So you think nobody knows, nobody cares. Well, we know and we care. We will continue to expose these stories and others who are in Kent, Active Patriot and all the others as well who are doing a great job, they will continue to expose these scandals. So And people are following them. People are not stupid. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come to you guys in half an hour and take, tell you about what's going on in Justin Trudeau's land of Canada and his liberal socialist authoritarian government. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.